Today's Morning Coffee Vinyl Side, Dwayne Eddy, The Twang's The Thang, 1959. This is the third studio album by early rockabilly artist Dwayne Eddy, featuring Dwayne Eddy, his twangy guitar, and the Rebels. It's a curious mix of songs and genres, but what gives them all their characteristic Dwayne Eddy sound is that twangy guitar. Twangy, in this context, was a combination of Dwayne playing his guitar through reverberation tanks and a rudimentary tremolo effect, while picking single-note melody lines on the bass strings of his Gretsch 6120 electric guitar. It's the guitar that plays what would otherwise be the vocal lines. Though all the songs here are performed instrumentally, there's a distinction between songs that were written for vocals with Dwayne's guitar substituting for singing and songs written as instrumentals. You Are My Sunshine stands as an example of the former, and Root Number One, the latter. And the best parts of this album are the songs penned by Eddie, written specifically for guitar. A couple of the covers are weaker, but on the whole it's quite entertaining. I'm spinning a very early UK pressing and it's pristine. My wife and I are digging on the whole thing. This album, despite being recorded in Arizona and Los Angeles, has a decidedly Memphis sound. It reminds me of Grady Martin's work with both the Slewfoot Five, but also Marty Robbins. And if I had to pick out an annoyance, it's the inclusion of the white gospel-styled singers on background vocals that kind of gets my shackles up. That shrill and wispy high soprano head voice typical of recordings from the 40s and 50s that I often associate as white gospel is just not my thing. And it's not a racial distinction as Evelyn Freeman Roberts, credited here as the Evelyn Freeman Singers, who provided the background vocals in choir, was black, but it is an aesthetic distinction. And it takes me back to the pews, hearing old ladies singing old Protestant hymns in ear-piercing soprano at funerals when I was a child. Now that's not Dwayne Eddy's responsibility. That's mine. I bring that to the mix. But equally, that's part of the magic of music. It connects us to memory. It connects us to experience. It just so happens that this memory, old ladies singing in shrill, high soprano voices, is connected to my memory of being at funerals as a small child. So, you know, that's life.